But any man that be in Christ is a new creation. And old things, you don't live from the flesh anymore. You live from the greater one inside you. That's why we don't worry about anything. People of God, Isaiah 3 and 10 says that all shall be well for the people of God. He told the prophet, he said, tell my people that all shall be well for them. You go back to Egypt where he was pulling his people out. The sprinkle blood upon the doorposts. And when the death angel come through, where he see the blood, you pass over. You got to keep yourself in him, not outside of him. You don't let the news scare you. You don't let social media scare you. You don't let people around you scare you. Because they're afraid don't mean you got to be. If everybody's afraid, then who's going to help them? Are y'all okay with this? If everybody walk away from faith, the Bible says that many have become shipwrecked because they left the faith. And they become shipwrecked. A lot of people are in shipwreck today because they're talking about a God that they're not living from. We know the Bible. We know scripture. I tell people, I'm no prisoner. I did prison ministry. I did jail ministry. And they know Bible better than a whole lot of church folk. But the, God says that it is the anointing that destroys. Not just read the Bible. You need to read the Bible. But you need the revelation. You need the anointing. You need to be living from him. Romans 13, 14. He said, put ye on the Lord Jesus Christ. Put it on. And I don't care what's going on around you. I don't hear a lot of people. They try to put us all in fear. But I look at it. I walk by faith. Even as much as saying if Jesus was here, he would want everybody to do this. I said, that's not what Jesus does. Jesus cancels stuff. And everything must obey. I said if all the people of God would really get in their spirit and cancel this thing together, I don't care what they say out here, this earth would be free. But the struggle comes in because we become double-minded. We hear them, then we hear God, then we hear them, then we hear God, then we hear them, then we hear God, and now we're in a struggle. And my Bible says, thanks be unto God who always called me to triumph. Everyone that believed Jesus, I don't care what they had, they got up. Lepers got up. Y'all better come over here. Yes, yes, yes. HIV. Come on. OCD. Come on. CID. Well, yes, DDG. Yes, <laughs> All of them. Go go Shania. When you believe him, the woman with the issue of love, she continued to say within herself. She didn't talk about the sickness because talking about the sickness don't bring the healing. Right. Oh God, I mean she got the body. So she continued to say within herself after exhausting everything she had, this ain't working. The vaccine ain't going to help you. None of it's going to help you. Because if your belief system don't change, all the stuff they would do out here will not change you. It's the belief of the man, woman, boy, girl, that causes 
a shift in their atmosphere. You got a vaccine right now. The people that just got healed, they just got a vaccine. I tell people when they when they when they have a struggle believing this, then I tell them, well, you know what? You need to go ahead and go do whatever you need to do. Because I'm not here to make you believe. I walk like my father. I do what I see my father do. He never made nobody believe. When they come, he that come to me must believe. First, first that I exist. I, I can go to the rewarding part, but if I don't believe he exists, I skip. And then the reward don't come. Because I skip the believing part. Oh my God. Oh, this is some good stuff. I got to do it line by line. I got to believe he exists. If I sing about it, if I go through all these motions and shout and do all this stuff about it, I got to get my belief system lined up with that. There is nothing impossible for the believer. Look at somebody tell them there is nothing impossible for you. There is nothing you can't do. There is nothing you can't be. There is nothing you can't have. Glory to God as a believer. Jesus never said to anyone that come up to him, no, you know what, I, I, no, that, I, I, I can't do this. I, I, I can't. No, you might break the bank if I do this or do that. No! Nothing is impossible. No, I, I wish I could get two or three hundred. No, 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 no. I need you to say it again. No, 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 no. So when you get this thing down in you and really believe it, really believe it, I don't care what come up, you already know you got victory over it. There's no sickness that can hold you. There's no disease that can hold you. There's no poverty that can hold you. Glory to God, I don't care what it is. It can't hold you if your faith is sitting proper. Somebody jump up and just out. I'm breaking out of that right now. Okay. <laughs> 
come by you. He said, you will see with your eyes the reward of the wicked. You don't live from there. You live from heavenly places. Huh? You don't live from where you are. You live from where you're from. Because about the time I'm going back to my origination. I've been born again. I've been born again. Psalms 92. Oh God. I'm already preaching. God bless you, sister. I'm already preaching. Yeah, hallelujah. You open my mind. Psalm 92, 13. Those that be planted. See, you can't be in and out. You ain't up today, down this evening. Come on, People singing songs about some time up, some time down. Almost, that's the lies. Lie, 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 lie. You got to go back to what God said. Those that are planted in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the courts of our God. Look at your neighbor and tell him you are to flourish. There's always a light in the midst of your darkness. When God saw darkness, he spoke light. He spoke light. He didn't cry about how dark it was. Oh, the devil just taking over everything. He don't care about that because if I got power and if I'm confident that I got power, I will speak those things that be not as though they already. I'm not trying to prove nothing to nobody. I don't have to say dark because you say dark. I see light. You may not ever see it, but I'm going to speak yeah, yeah, yeah. If I'm a bear, come back. Glory to God. Huh. Yeah. Prophet said that, 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 that there's rain. Told him to go out there and look. He come back and said, I ain't no rain out there. He said, go look again. Yeah. It's raining. He come back, ain't no rain out there. I don't, I don't know. He tired or something. He, he on the drug. <laughs> Let me find some excuse. Because he's talking about rain. There's no rain out there. Go on back again. After a while, he come back. Says, I see a cloud. About the size of a man's hand. If you don't change your confession, you're going to have what you say. Mm-hmm. If you ever look at that, he said, yeah. If you stick to your confession, yeah. even though they say there is no sunshine, you keep saying sunshine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't care. I didn't say, oh, storm, storm. I say, all is well in this atmosphere. They say, oh, you need to be praying. All is well in this atmosphere. All is well in this atmosphere. Why aren't you worried or concerned? Because all is well in this atmosphere. You're walking by what you believe and not by what they say. You flourish. That somebody tell them flourish. Watch this. They shall steal. Because you planted. You plant it. Remember that. You're planting. Yeah. You don't go plant seed and then, and then turn around and pluck it up. Right. And then talk about you expecting a flower. <laughs> you keep plucking seed up. How is the flower going to ever get out there? Right. Yeah. If you plant the seed, water the seed. Yeah. And trust that the earth knows what to do to bring it forth. Yeah. Everything out here knows what to do. Yeah. Are y'all still here? Y'all going to yeah. be here? Yeah. If you're planted, don't let nobody pluck you up. That's right. 
If you planted yourself in faith, don't let nobody pluck you up. No, no, I'm planted. I don't care what you got to do. I'm planted. You got to walk away from everybody. I'm planted. You're not going to talk me out of my faith. You're not going to talk me out of what I believe. There's a cloud outside the man's hand because he stuck to what he said. Man, God didn't get up and say, well, you know, maybe not. Okay, well, let's try something else. No. He's sending back. Because when you're speaking those things that be not, I don't care what the atmosphere is saying at the moment. This thing's going to change. They say, well, it's, it's going to be another wave and it's going to be bad. I said, no, this second wave is going to be a greater wave of glory. The latter rain shall be greater than the former. And I go with God. Ten plagues hit Egypt. And not one believer was affected by any of the plagues. Only time you're affected by anything is when you step in and start believing it. It's your belief that takes you down or raises you up. You will have what you plan. I go to bed say, they shall steal. Well, I'm getting old now. <laughs> Man, what it used to be. Somebody told you that. I never heard God say that. Somebody taught you that. And we're so used to living by society. We do what society do. We do what society say. Because I, you know, I gotta be with the in crowd. I gotta I gotta fit in. Get in where I fit in. They won't accept me if I don't do it like them. I tell you something, you can do it like them, they still won't. Okay, never mind. Because when all hell start breaking loose, you're gonna find out where they're really standing. Oh, y'all going to leave, don't y'all? Y'all going to leave. They shall steal, bring forth fruit in the old age. In the old age, it's just a number. You're still fruitful. Look at you never tell them you're still fruitful. David says, I once was young, but now I'm old, but not one time have I seen the righteous forsaken. Neither his seed. Your baby days are over. Neither his seed. Begging bread. You don't have to beg nobody for nothing. Look at somebody tell them your begging days are over. You don't have to beg nobody for nothing. You don't have to beg nobody for nothing. God already know. But he needs you to speak. He needs you to believe. Because by your faith, you please him. By your faith, you move him. Not sitting around crying, you can cry. Been crying all night long. Been crying all day long. Well, you're going to keep on crying. Until you get in faith. Because once you get in faith, things begin to change. God said, I am the vehicle. And I gave you the key. And you have a perfect vehicle that if you get in and roll it, you will see the miracle. But you can't allow anything or anybody cause you to park your car and get out and start thumping. Mm. No, I trust God. I 
I trust God. I believe God. I took a car the other day, brand new car, got warranty on tires. The tires just go flat because of the heat. I said, what y'all going to do about it? They, well, they're going to remount it and put it back on. I said, the devil is a liar. <laughs> we don't remount this. Well, that's what the warranty. I, 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 no, 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 no. No, no, no. Our life is more important. No, I'd rather spend the money and get me some new tires. Yes. That I know what they do. Right. Y'all don't understand what I'm saying. Yes. No, no, no. You done tried the rest. Now you got to step into the best. Right. And you can't allow anybody to cause you to settle back because of what they say. Well, you know, that's going to cost. I don't care. The earth is the Lord, the food is thereof. And God has given it all to us, His truth. I was looking at, at, a, at a program last night, a documentary about tree in there. And, and they put the focus on how one of the sons knew so much of who he was in that family. Oh, I'm going somewhere. That the son had no shame. Went out by him. Five hundred million dollar yachts, three hundred million dollar mansion, twenty five million dollar mansion, twenty no thirty five million dollar mansion. He, he didn't care. He went out because he knew who he was in that family. I'm not gonna say the name, but he knew who he was in that family, and the father had no problem with him doing it because. He's my son. Oh, God, I'm going somewhere. Y'all better, yes. yes. better catch this. Yes. Yes. You better catch it. Yes. Your father yes. don't have no problem. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Come on, Bishop. Come on, Bishop. It's you and your confidence of who you are as a son or a daughter. That's keeping you where you are. You walking around scared. But you come in church, hybrid. Uh. <laughs> Sometimes I want to tell people, sit down. And and sit down. <laughs> because you don't believe that. Because if I believe he was great, that's my father and I'm a son. Poverty is not an option for me. Y'all don't get like this. Poverty is not an option. Look, look, it's nothing. That, 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 that boy didn't care because he was the son of a tree in air. The father was doing things on the outskirts. But the son was doing it on the inskirts. Did you catch that? The father doing it on the but the son is doing it. I'm putting y'all to sleep. No, sir. No, sir. Throw some water on and tell them to wake up. Wake up. You're sleeping in a dangerous time. Dangerous time. <laughs> see, see, people, people, people don't like this kind of teaching because they're used to religion. And see, religion keeps you a slave. When Jesus came along, they, they wanted to get rid of him because he burst their game. See, you trying to keep people in poverty. You trying to slave people under your mastership. But Jesus says, I come that they would have life. Yes. And life that more. But you're supposed to live an abundant life. Yeah, right, right, right. Look at somebody tell them, I'm living an abundant life. I'm living an abundant life. My slave days are over. My slave days are over. You got to live confident of this. I'm a son. I'm a daughter. I do like my daddy. My daddy don't have a problem spending. I don't have a problem. I am fearfully and wonderfully made for my father. He made me the apple of his eye. I am DNA of my father. And then I'm going to get out here and act like somebody else is my daddy. 
Oh, like I don't have a daddy at all. God is my source. He is my father. And it is in him that I live, move, and exist. So I don't care what it is. Glory to God. I own it all.
You flourish. I flourish. How do I do this? By getting 10 jobs. Mm -mm. <laughs> Read the rest of that scripture. New Living Translation. And we achieve this victory. How? Through our faith. There you go. How do you do it? How do you do it? How do you do it? You achieve this through your faith. And God has given to every man the measure of faith. Uh huh. You need some water, your man. Ask him, do we need some water? You achieve this. Y'all continue to look this way. You achieve this by faith. When you're getting your faith, you don't have to keep running around or hunting down somebody. No. You get in your spirit and you command demonic forces to get up off of you. And you walk in your victory. You speak things that be not as though they already were and keep on walking. Yeah. If Jesus taught the tree, you better start talking. If he spoke to the water, you better start talking. He spoke to the wind, you better start talking. Because, oh God, I lost somebody else. Get St. John chapter 14. I'm helping you. Yes, you are. I'm, I'm holding my circles because I, I, I tell you, I can start flying. And, 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 but I need to get this over to you. 1412. I bless you, Sister Mitra. I bless you, dear. I bless you, dear. Bless you for coming in with you. Praise God. Amen. Atlanta, Atlanta, Georgia. Amen. Thank you for coming. Literally. Watch this. Anybody got it? Come on. I tell you the truth. Now who's talking here? Jesus. Jesus is talking here. He said, I tell you the truth. Yeah. Not, not what they say. Right. You got to listen yeah. to the one that's in you. Yeah. They say you're not going to make it. Yeah. But the one in you say you are. Yeah. Whose report are you going to believe? The of the Lord. If God tell me that I'm going to make it. I'm not worried about what they say. Oh, y'all got to come up here. That's why I tell people, whoever got your head got your life. I don't care how you talk about Jesus. If Jesus don't have your head, then he don't have your life. You're just talking about him. If Bobo got you, Bobo got you. Shawakatima. Shanene. Toilet, dish rag, <laughs> hammer stick. I tell you the truth. <laughs> and if I listen to him, he said, I tell you the truth. Anyone, What's this? Anyone who believes in me. Anyone that believes in me will do the same works. You better I open your done. mouth and start talking. Yes. yes. I do. I do what I see my father do. I spend time with the Father. So I can only do it His way. Against all this pandemic and everything they're talking about here. You got to spend time with the Father. So He can give you the answers. They're making me money. I ain't never been so blessed. We have never been so blessed. Ministry's never been so blessed. And they calling us crazy and stupid and foolish and idiots and they, they putting all kinds of stuff out about us because we still flowing. But they threaten the apostles. They threaten Jesus. When you walk in by faith, they're going to threaten you. Why? Because they want you to get out of the faith to get like them. My mediocre day. Look at somebody tell them, your mediocre days are over. You done done it like them long enough. You better get back in the house. You better get back in the house. And do it like your father. And do it like your father. Yeah. 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 Somebody, who do you think 
you up. Do, do you have time? Are you going to receive it when I tell you? Because he says, anyone that believed him, everything that I saw him do, I shall do. And even greater work shall I do. Because he's gone to the Father. He's even got you seated with him in heavenly places. And you still talking about, I'm just a nobody. Shut up. I can stand with my kids. Come here with that boo, 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 boo. I say, pick your head up. Square your shoulders back. Know who you are. My children don't walk their head down. Crying over in mama lap. Pick yourself up. Everybody go through something. But the difference between the two is one makes up his mind. I'm getting up. I ain't living like this no more. I don't belong to the devil. I belong to God. I'm his child. I understand why my godmother, she gave me an ultimatum and said, listen, you, you go out there and whoop them or come here, I'm going to whoop you. <laughs> I, I, listen, y'all hear me when I say that. But see, she's challenging me. She's letting me know that really, technically, you can whoop them. But as long as you keep running, you'll never know it. So I got to put you on the block and tell you, listen here, either you go out there and whoop them, or you come here, I'm going to whoop you. I made up my mind that day. I ain't running no more. Somebody just said, who will that mother? You, you caught it, you caught it, you caught it. No, no, you ain't running no more. When you arm yourself under the mighty hand of God, he said that the enemy will run. Because technically the enemy is scared of you. Right. But you displaying fear. So he don't have to be afraid. Because you're afraid. You get that little two juicy shots out, wild wild, whatever that little thing is. And can't do nothing. But he got you scared, jumping up on the couch. I mean, oh, he did he. If you, if you stop here, take off that breath. Y'all said, I gave you power. Yes. The tread among scorpions and serpents. Yes. I gave you power over all the power of the enemy. And nothing shall thy enemy hurt you. You and all that are supposed to hurt. He's supposed to hurt.
talk about Jesus ever again if you ain't standing on top. You know, I'm going through, but the Lord is good. Shut up! <laughs> it don't look like I'm making you know the Lord. You better sh <laughs> You can't use that in the same sentence. Come on, Bishop. I'm a victor. I'm a victor. I'm not a victor. None of these things shall come by me. God said in 1 Corinthians 3 21, all things. All things. And baby, you better get in there and meditate and know it. Yes. It's all yours. Yes. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my. I had over $25,000 dropped in my account in one walk. I ain't work for it. But God said, I'll do it. Yes. If you believe me. Yes. You don't ever be concerned about nothing. A lot of people work a whole year and don't make that. Yeah. Tesla made me over a thousand dollars this past yeah. weekend. Yeah. Cause you go with God. Yeah. You follow the principle. Yeah. And when you follow the principle, God will give you a road and avenue yeah. that a job can't give you. Come on, God. Yeah. I'll make you rich in a split second. Yeah. Been working all your life. Or even be able to try to touch. You ain't no victim. No. But you got to stop talking about Jesus and get in Jesus. And walk like him and talk like him and act like him. Take authority over your house. Take authority over your money. God said, I gave you power to get wealth. God, believe me. It ain't happening, Captain. I gave you power. Yeah. I can't tell you the last time I asked God to pay a bill. Oh, God. Why? Because the more you know who you are, because yeah. you're away from this shit, yeah. and follow his principle, yeah. you'll never be in lack. Come on now. Yeah. I know that's right. yeah. All these people suffering out here. What we do now is we try to help people. That's but suppose right. we lived on the same mindset. Yeah. Then you can't help nobody. Yeah. This whole world, y'all sit down. I'm, I'm trying to get off and park this thing. I gotta park it. Sit down. Oh, bless God. Hi, I'm a high. See, 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 the whole world waited. Watch this on the manifestations of the sons. Y'all hear that S on the end? Are you a son or daughter? Yes. They waiting on you. We give away money in the church. Not no little money. Why? Because we feel that we need to help somebody. We help people outside here. We've helped some churches. I'm not trying to boast. I'm not boasting. I boast in my God. Because it is he that has done this thing. Yeah. Yeah. See, if you're only looking for your own self, then no, 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 you got the wrong motive about it. Yeah. All right, look, look, it ain't just for me and, and mine. No, we got to be a blessing to others. Yeah. He blessed you to be a blessing. Yeah. This is how people know. Because I'm hearing people talking about, oh, he don't this, he don't this, he don't this, he don't this, he don't this. He don't this. But then when I, when I put some money in their hand, it changed everything. I tell them, I said, we, we got a food pantry. What do you need? Tell them to come over here and let these sisters take them downstairs, give them some boxes of food. Are y'all still here? Yes. But we, 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 you're blessed to be. Y'all got to come over here. But that's going with God. And he will direct your path. Give y'all a little tip. Just look going somewhere. If I say any more, y'all got to pay me to be your stock. I said that on the air, didn't I? Okay. Just go on and put a thousand dollars on the picture somewhere. 
Oh yeah, yeah, he, he wants to he about to come out with this next battery. That's gonna blow up some stuff, right? Okay, I, I, I'm gonna leave that alone. You in church. Okay, the church is gonna need this. Cause, uh, cause, uh, cause we done been dumbfounded way too long. I'm gonna get out of this. No, no, no. I, I, look, I, I'm not gonna be passing no broke church. And we talk about God, because I told God I quit. And I tried to quit. Amen. I did. I tried because I was tired of religion. It wasn't working for me. I was in and out of the hospital with that tired and there. And just every week, two, three times, I'm just going through, going through, and trying to find it. I'm saying, I got to go to this. Boy, everything just going, going, going LL backwards. You know, that's a cool trick. But anyway, yeah. But God told me the last time that I was in Toledo Hospital. He said, son, doing this from flesh will kill you. He said, you got to do it from the spirit. You got to let me do it. I said, but God, as soon as I said that, he took me back to 1985 when I transitioned. He said, how did that feel? What did that look like? I said, God, that was the greatest moment of my life. He said, that's what you're supposed to be looking for right now. From that day on, I come back in the church and change everything. Anybody don't like it, bye-bye, baby, bye-bye. I will not do religion ever, ever, ever again. And I start detoxing religion. Love me a lump me with $100 bills. Glory to God, I ain't in no preaching competition. I'm going to bring you reality. And if you get in this, there is nothing that you won't be able to accomplish. I don't want everybody looking at me and my wife. I want all of us to be in it. I need everybody in it. So when I come in here and say, we about to go do this, everybody be right on board saying, let's do it, Bishop. Let's do it. Let's do it. Amen. Amen. Everybody broke? You can't do nothing. And make you afraid to talk about money in church. Shoot, you, you go on about your business. Do it your way. And I'm going to do it mine. I just gave you a tip. That's going to make you a lot of money if you trust me. Amen. I'm going to pray for you. Before I get off. I see a whole lot happening. Baby, if you don't be blessed this week, you don't be blessed this week. If you walk out of here and let somebody talk you out of this, you're on your own. You're on your own. Glory to God. God wants to talk you out of your job. He told me my days of working for the man was over. I was a scared brother. Because I had a family and I had a ministry. And I got to go back here and I got to face this woman. And my kids. Oh Lord. And then I was church for me. But I went on and took the chance to go with him. And we've been living better yeah. and better and better. Yeah. And things went down and got rocking. Yeah. I didn't just keep rolling. I stopped after I exhausted. I don't know how much money. My own money. Yeah. Credit cards. Dipped in my IRA. Trying to keep church going. I said, God, what's going on? He said, you walked away from faith. And you feel that you got to do everything out of your flesh. God said, you better go get you another job. You better go on back to work. And what God talking about ain't working. That was a deception. I fell on the floor and I went in tongues for about an hour. And when I got through, I felt free from all of that. And everything started coming back up. Then he turned around and said, I gave you partners that I helped you. 
Stop running around here thinking you got to do it by yourself. I gave you partners. And if they don't obey it, then they're going to cut themselves off. So it's a channel that's got to keep flowing. So that everybody's blessed. Are y'all here? We got to believe God, my brothers and sisters. Get in the city of God and stay there. And don't let nobody talk you out of it. So what? You don't do it like them. You didn't try that already. Where did they get you? You got to do it this way. They put that in that box. You got to be this and this and this and this. Put all these stipulations. They're giving you man's idea. God too big to be in a box. I tell people I'm universal. But you know, you better, you better be holy. You don't even know what holy means. Explain that. And you freeze them. Because 99% of church people that use that don't know what it means. I told the bishop what that meant while he was talking. And he looked at me and I said, oh my God. He said, you're right, young man. Much older than me. Got DDs behind his neck. See, this is Revelation. Acts chapter 4, verse 13. Uh, I'm closing, y'all. Don't y'all feel the plane landing? Just land. <laughs> We're parking here. We're about to get off the plane. Amen. I need somebody to read that because I, I, I don't want them to hear me quote it. I want you to read that to them. King James, I believe. 413. Of Acts. I believe that's it. If you got it, come on, start reading the word of Acts. Where have we got it? The members of the council were amazed. The members of the council were amazed. When come they on. saw the boldness of Peter and John. They saw the boldness of God's people. For they could see that they were ordinary men. Look at it. You, on the outside, you look like an ordinary person. But they perceive something. Come on. With no special training no in the scripture. No special DVDs. And I don't have anything against it, so don't nobody start fighting. Now. I don't want no emails and text messages and all phone calls. Y'all you know, keep it. I, I'm trying to help you. They also recognized them as men. They were unlearned, unskilled in scripture. But they recognized what? Them as they recognized them as men who had been with Jesus. A lot of the theologians and professors and all are scared. But children of God are walking in a boldness. And people see your boldness and cause them. I told God, I said, put a web over this church like you did David. So when they come around, they just go on past and don't even see and realize. And God has kept us through this whole thing. And brothers and sisters, as long as you're in faith, you will always make it. You step outside of it, you're on your own. And the enemy love that. You're not trying to do it like everybody else. I told them Friday, I said the thing that they said that we shouldn't do when we were kids. I said, we should have been doing it. And that's talking to yourself. When you start talking to yourself from your spirit nature, talk to your flesh nature. Your flesh nature will begin to line up. But right now, if you're not doing it that way, your flesh nature is speaking to you and you're being ran by your flesh nature. You want to know what the problem is? The problem is you. They're not your problem. The issue is you. The issue is you. I got to get my faith back. And I, I got to continue to say within myself. Yeah. I want to pray for you. I want you to stand all over the building. I'm declaring that you're walking out of here and victory today. 
I'm declaring that no weapon, I want you to just focus, tune yourself in to your spirit. Just dim your eyes down. I got you. We got security around you. Everything is well. You're in a good place. Which is a full focus in your spirit. I declare you victorious. In the name of our Lord Jesus. Every struggle, I cancel it now. Everything that concerns you is over. The angels of the living God are dispatched even now, coming to your rescue to heal, deliver, and set you free in all avenues, physically, spiritually, and financially. I decree and declare open doors of faith. Lord, go out our unexpected financial abundance. Showers upon you like rain. In places you know not of. Lord, I call upon the four winds to blow in healing across the airway. The atmosphere of your surroundings. Spirit of the living God raising up a standard right now against every demonic attack that the enemy has sent your way. God, I thank you for victory on your people's behalf. I thank you that every believer in this house walks out a new person. Glory to God. They experience and they see the miracle signs and wonders of you as it has been spoken over them in the name of our Lord Jesus. Thank you that all is well for them. Every demonic attack upon the mind, I cast it off. In the name of our Lord Jesus. I decree and declare that your memory is blessed. I call in the mind of Christ. I decree and declare that it is awakened within you now, unhindered and untainted by any outside force. Any demonic addictions are cast off now. And I call you free. And he that God has set free is free indeed. No more entangled with yokes of bondage. The anointing of the Holy Ghost have freed you and you are free. This moment, receive that. In Jesus' name, give him a praise. Come on, give him a real one. Give him a real one. Everyone that will sacrifice every on the seat today. Everyone that will sacrifice. If you want to go online, you can go online to fmiam.tv. All of you on the internet. FMIAM dot TV. Those of you that are in the building, if you want to go online, FMIAM dot TV.